it's going to fit into your front line with other new signings, potentially? Or does he see him as someone who is a really good player to come off the bench? If you look at all the big teams in Europe, uh, Real Madrid, but particularly Man City and Liverpool, the two sort of juggernauts at the moment, the one of the things they, they, they did, both clubs, they went away, uh, first of all Man City and then Liverpool, they strengthened their benches. Now Liverpool, laterally, their bench is, has been amazing. But a couple of years ago, we sat here with our colleague Stevie Nicol, and there wasn't much coming off the bench. So to that point, Chav, it's not just about building an 11, it's about building back up. And I'm kind of 50-50 on where Memphis Depay is going to fit in. I can't answer that question because I'm not in the head of the Barcelona manager. But I'm not convinced that Xavi's convinced that he's an, a, a, an automatic starter, but I'm sure he's convinced he knows he can use him as a squad player. As Shaq will know and Lewis will know, it's hard to convince good quality players they're not going to play every week and be happy. So that's a difficult scenario. I think that's the thing. I, I like Memphis Depay a lot. And I, I think coming off the wing is when he's at his best. So he fits in with an Obama Young through the middle. And I know he was used through the middle uh, early on in the season, certainly before the January transfer window, having to fill that void. But I, I feel he's best coming off, coming off from one of the wide areas. But as you look at Barcelona and the way that they are seeming to move forward with the likes of Pedri and Gavi and Ansu Fati, if he can stay fit, any of those three can play, come from wide areas, can come through the middle themselves. So now you have this conundrum with the talented youth, let's assume they all stay fit, you, you've got Memphis Depay who equally talented but has cost a lot of money will be on a lot of money how does that how does that fit into to your plans for the youth of the squad how does that fit into Memphis Depay whether, whether he just sees himself as a bit part player that that is part of the part of the balancing act and man management that uh, Xavi has to get absolutely right yeah, it's obviously still a work in progress, Luis, and Xavi needs more time, but he definitely does need more players if they are going to contend with Real Madrid next season. Yeah, and I think Craig is spot on. I mean, it's not about uh, creating a fantastic eleven because you never know what is going to happen during the season. It's about how deep is your squad, how the season is so long. You're going to compete in La Liga, you're going to compete in the Cup, you're going to compete in Champions League. And you, if you want to win every single trophy, you need to have players who can compete every single week in and week out, and also midweeks. And that's a lot. On this uh, amount of games that all the players are having, international breaks, that they play two, three games in a week, and they come and they travel, you need to have a squad that uh, is going gonna, is gonna to be used when it's needed. And Barcelona is a team who needs seven, eight, nine players who, and the moment that you decide to change and rotate three, four players, you know that the level is not going to go down. And I think Memphis is one of those players. The, the problem is if he's going to be um, looking for it because definitely he's a player with a lot of personality. He wants to be important. He's a character. And, of course, you need to manage. So that's Xavi's uh, business to try to try to uh, convince him that he's going to be an important uh, player in some games, but probably not in all of them. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.